Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to create consistent image for the children's story book using Leonardo AI. So I'm on a free plan, free account. So I have 150 credits or tokens that I can use to generate the image. Every time you create the image, it will be, uh, some points will be deducted. So as you can see here, this is actually the first the main or the landing page of Leonardo and you can scroll down to see the images that have been created by others okay so now to create the, the image you can choose here image creation or you can also choose from here on the left hand side here image creation but it will go page to the same place which is here. This is where you can put a prompt. And on the left hand side, and uh, down here is where your results, your output will be displayed. Okay, so these are the settings. These are the important ones. We want to set all the settings before we generate the image. Preset here is the basically the model, different model here. You can see the effect, how it looks like. Different model here will give us different effects or different appearance to the image. I, for, for children's book, uh, I think uh, all of this you can try and see how it looks like. But for this uh, example, I want to choose illustrative al albedo. And the model that we choose here will be displayed under advanced setting down here. You can see here albedo base excel but if you click this arrow it will show you different other models that you can try out for example leonardo diffusion excel here uh, is also quite good so yeah, you can uh, give it a try uh, when you have more credits you just try all this model to see how it looks like because different people will have different preference of how the image they want to, uh, how, how the image, how it looks like the image looks like for their children's book story. So in this example, I just stick with Albedo Excel. Okay, other setting here, uh, preset style illustration. I think for children's books, we can choose this illustration, contrast medium, generation fast, generation mode fast by default. But uh, if you want to get a better quality, then choose quality. But it's also for this only for paid version. And the image dimension, you can choose this different dimension here. There are more dimension. If you click more, you can uh, choose from all this. But for this purpose, we just choose 16.9 dimension, which is the like PowerPoint horizontal white white uh, shape then number of image by default well, for the pre-plan you can only choose four uh, you cannot choose one two or three because this is also for paid account and uh, also you cannot make it private mode because it is only for paid account then under advanced setting here um, you can turn on the negative prompt then negative prompt are those things that you don't want to appear in your image. For example, double hand, uh, more than five fingers, things like things like that, which AI image tend to generate sometimes. Then uh, click this one. Use fix seat. Um, I think we can set this on after we have generated the image because. To generate consistent image, we need to use seed number, fixed seed number, just like an identity or identifier, or just like our IC uh, identification card number, unique identifier for the image to help Leonardo to generate consistent image. Okay, now let's put in the prompt. I have used, uh, I've asked ChatGPT to create a prompt uh, for me create a description of a character 
for children's storybook. So I give some de description of what I want specifically, and then ChatGPT will give more, even more detailed uh, description. Cute girl, cute ten-year-old Muslim Malay girl, wearing yellow hijab and blue pastel long gown, yellow shoes. She has beautiful big eyes and a warm smile with a small dimple. Then this is the detailed description, physical traits, outfit, facial expression. Then I'm so lazy. I want ChatGPT to make it even more concise into one neat paragraph. And this is the result. So I will copy this and jump back to Leonardo and then just paste the prompt. So this will be our basic prompt. And then after that, we can add on the, 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 uh, the action. We can add on the environment here. Yeah? Um, and maybe we can add here the style. So let's, let's say we want to have a Disney pizza style, which is very popular. But of course, you can use watercolor style. We can use crayon style and other many styles available. Okay. So we are ready to generate now. Uh, it takes 14 points, as you can see. 14 credit will be deducted from 150 starting credits. So it's generating now. So let's see. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. It looks quite nice. Yellow hijab. A blue shirt, nice looking, cute looking. If you're not happy, you can continue to generate, but of course you will take more credits. But for this example, let's say I'm happy with this one. Actually, I'm quite happy. So the next, the next step is to go to these three dots here. Click this and copy seed. Okay, copy seed. And then under advanced setting, if you don't see this one, just click this to reveal this part and click turn on use fix seed and put in the seed number down here. And this will be used as a reference by Leonardo to generate more images. But we keep the original description intact. What we need to do now, we can add the action. So again, I have chat, asked ChatGPT to give me a few action here. Okay, so we don't need, uh, yeah, this part I think we don't need because we have already have it in the prompt. But this is the action or the expression of the character. In this case, Noor, swing high. So this is the action. And at the playground, this is the environment. So we need this. And we can, maybe we can add also uh, this part. He, her yellow shoes kick up in the air and her brown eyes sparkle with excitement as the wind rushes past her. So copy this part. I'm, use, I'm using the keyboard shortcut here. Command C or Control C on your PC. Then I, um, I suggest we put before the style here. Okay, so Uh, at Noor is laughing. So this is a new part that we add in the prompt. The rest, we keep it intact. Then let's generate. Bismillah. Okay. Now, which one? All looks more or less the same, but this one can see the hair. So I probably will take this one or this one you can download so you can download here if you like the picture if you're not happy you can regenerate and probably will get one that you really like okay so now let's create another one meanwhile you can see here uh, i have 122 remaining because just now yes uh, deducted 14 
credits 14 tokens. So let's create another one. Nor in a garden. So Nor is kneeling, gently wearing, watering a bit of colorful flowers. Her warm smile is calm and peaceful. Okay. If we take this part also, it's probably enough. But since we want to show how Noor looks like when she's doing the gardening, so I think we can take all this part. <clears throat> Again, we can take it from here until here. Pace. So Noor is kneeling in a lush garden. Okay. Watering the colorful flowers. So let's create this. So again, it will deduct 14 more points and I have 108 tokens remaining. <laughs> okay. So what if, uh, if you have run out the credit, you have to wait until tomorrow, 24 hours. But, uh, of course, you can create another Gmail and sign up for another account. <laughs> okay. To get more credits. Okay. So somehow, uh, the fourth one is not generated. Sometimes it will take time. Uh, if you refresh the screen, probably you will get this. But you can see here, um, unfortunately, we get the consistent character. But in terms of the action, uh, we don't see Noor is really doing the watering of the watering a bed of colorful flowers. So we might want to regenerate this. Yeah. Uh, but for this example, I'll just leave it as is. And uh, let's try another one. Try uh, uh, this one even more challenging. She's barefoot now, holding her yellow shoes in one hand, and her face is lit up with pure joy as she chases. No, she's uh, running along the sandy shore. Her blue gown flowing behind her. She's barefoot now. So let's see how Leonardo can interpret this. So Noor. Noor is running along the sandy shore. Let's see how it looks like. This one. Okay. Not so bad. Okay. So Noor is walking along the beach. Okay, maybe another example. Noor in the library, sitting across, sitting cross leg on a comfy chair in the library, deeply engrossed in a book. Her big eyes scan the pages. Okay, let's copy this one. So Noor. Is sitting cross leg. Okay, generate. Ah, only two pictures this time. This one only three. You can see Noor is doing something in the library, but we don't see Noor is crossing leg. Sometimes, uh, for some reason, instead of generating four, uh, Leonardo generate three or sometimes two in this case. And as you can see, uh, in this case, we don't get exactly action, the action of Noor crossing her leg here. Maybe if we have another two, then we can get the, the, the right one. But in this case, only this. So we can continue to regenerate uh, until we get what we want. Maybe the last one here, I want to regenerate and see whether we can get the action. Well, still more or less the same. Okay, so again, never mind. Um, that's a challenge. It's just so you, just so you know that this is how we can generate consistent character. In this case, we can can we can get consistent character, but sometimes uh, we don't get the action that the exact precise action that we want. So in in that case. Uh, we can regenerate the prom or maybe we can 
change the action. And that's the, the, the worst scenario, but try to regenerate the, the image again, but it will take more credits, of course. Okay, so give it a try and be patient um, because it's how the AI currently at this point in time until, uh, but I believe it will be, it will improve. Uh, in the next six months, probably will get better and better. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.